let's react to some slap. But first. Oops, wrong clip. But first, this week in the house, we had two people leave. One, because he decided to fight Sean Strickland, which I can think of a lot of different things that are better to do than that. And the other one was Slambo. He left us because he just didn't feel like it was for him. I'll let him explain right here. It, uh, it was not for Slambo, I don't think. I was going to bed at night. I was just seeing that Irish kid fall over and over and over and over again. Jesus tells me no, so this ain't a good idea for Slambo. I can respect that and good luck in life, my friend. But that means they have to replace him, and they did with Debo. Debo's back, and he's going to be going up against Zach, and I can't wait for that. Let's get to the slap. In this matchup, we have Cody taking on Danny. Cody's coming in at 25 years old, a height of 6'2", and a weight of 364 pounds. Danny's coming in at an age of 36, a height of 6'2", and a weight of 340.5 pounds. These two, it's going to be interesting because they've been going back and forth a little bit in the house, mocking each other. Here's a clip. You're only bigger than me if I bend down. I like how he sh talks, but he's so calm about it. Good luck down. But you did though, Cody. You ain't got a lie to kick it. They had to wake you up to fight Danny. But pretty much they just mocked each other back and forth. So there's a little bit of history. So I mean, both these two gotta be fired up. But Cody won the coin flip, chose to go right hand on three, and let's see what he has. He didn't even get to slap in the last event. He just came out and napped. I personally find that very disrespectful. But here we go. <clears throat> I don't think that did anything to Danny. You affected him more with that scream. And you clubbed the absolute sh out of him. Like what? Did you nap halfway through that? They called him for clubbing and deducted a point. So now it's Danny's turn. Danny's got what I'm calling a slow release slap because he made John have the doctors call it in the last match, but it was a couple minutes after he had been slapped. So he like hits you so hard, your body doesn't register it right away. So let's see how Cody's affected by it. Ooh, Cody's tired again and he lays down. Danny upgraded and now he has the quick release capsules. They're fast acting, but they're not long lasting because Cody's already back on his feet. But he's looking a little groggy and he probably shouldn't operate heavy equipment. Looks like they're calling it there and I think it's a good call. Danny shows his belly out of dominance. Dana goes wild. Let's listen to that again. Such a beautiful KO. Like he hits like a truck. Congratulations on your victory, Danny. Thanks, Cody, for competing. We'll see you, Danny, in Power Slap 6. In this matchup, we have Garrett taking on Cody. Garrett's coming in at an age of 22, a height of 5'10", and a weight of 203 pounds. Cody's coming in at an age of 30, a height of 6'3", and a weight of 204.5 pounds. This is another match that has the potential to be a banger. Last time Blakeslee was here, he absolutely obliterated his opponent. Like legend has it, he's still napping in the back of the apex to this day. Because nobody's seen him since. Garrett won the coin flip and he's chosen to go right hand on three. So let's see what he's got up against Cody. This video might just be a bunch of Cody's getting KO'd. He does not look like he wants to be there. Two, explode. Ooh, and that sounded like a good slap. But he clubbed the shit out of him. Like, look at this guy's reaction after the slap. They did call it and take a point from Garrett for patting on the back. And now that Cody dropped a weight class mid-fight, it'll be interesting to see how that affects his slap. But he's chosen left hand on three, so let's see what he's got. I can't even lie. That did not sound like a slap at all. It was placed beautifully, but listen, there was no sound other than his yell. It was definitely a good yell, though. But Garrett has chosen to go right hand on three for his second slap, so let's see what he's got this time. Oh my god, the sound of that slap, but Cody goes down and he's back on his feet. Is he gonna make it? Probably gonna be okay, as long as he just keeps his composure. But man, listen to that slap again. 
It was so clean, and man, it just sounded like a rubber band slapping him in the face. But Cody has recovered, and he's chosen to go left hand on three for his second slap. Ooh, and he landed an absolutely perfect slap. But Garrett just ate that like it was nothing. Listen to this again. Cody throws clean slaps. Garrett just has a good chin. You can definitely see they're affecting him. Cody's face doesn't look any better. Garrett's chosen right hand on three, and this is his final slap. Let's see if he gets the KO. Holy shit, that slap was massive, and Cody went down faster than a white girl with her coke dealer when she doesn't have any money. And that's it, folks. It looks like they're calling it. Let's listen to that again, because that was brutal. <laughs> Such a clean KO. Congratulations, Garrett, on your victory, and thank you, Cody, for competing. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, slap that like button, slap that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.